Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This is day 91 of the 100 day project. And it's going to be a quick one, especially in comparison to yesterday's. Um, anyway, I, I find it kind of incredible that I was doing mixed media um, artwork, art pieces, long before I knew what a junk journal was and how these two worlds can actually come together and make so much sense. Now this canvas, this is a stretched canvas, is um, relatively small. And that's one of the reasons why I chose it for this video is because it will fit on frame reasonably well. It's not square, believe it or not. Nine and three quarters by, oh, well, what the heck was I measuring the other day? <laughs> nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters. Okay, well, that's easy. That's better, I guess. I really didn't know which way, <laughs> I really didn't know which way was up. <laughs> On this or in life. No, seriously. But then I noticed my signature. So this apparently is the orientation I planned for. So I'll just point out a few things. There's that lovely turquoise background color. But um, other colors clearly are coming through. So it's not a flat static color. There are layers. I've used book page. So uh, probably all dictionary by the looks of it. I've used tissue paper that I stamped. I used some fibers. I used some um, like solid color tissue. I used um, gel pen to add that sort of that hot pink um, highlighter whatever. Uh, here are some other fibers. Here's another color of gel pen. And this is really, I really like it. Um, be kind of terrible if I didn't like my own stuff. But anyway, uh, you know, eventually, even if your house is a good size, you run out of walls and places to hang every single thing. So what I thought I would do is take this off the canvas, I mean off the stretcher bars, and repurpose this canvas as a journal cover. Now, I was trying, I didn't date it, obviously, when I signed it, but these are the little strips of paper that I used, and I obviously kept them. So it looks like it was 2019 when I did this. So long before I knew what a junk journal was. Anyway, um, I'm going to proceed with that. I, I'll just demo a bit of it and hopefully I don't draw any blood. Sometimes these things are, um, you know, tougher to get out than others. I brought a grown-up screwdriver instead of the little, the little toy one that I keep at my desk. So let's see how tough this might be. I also have a staple puller, you know, like the office variety, but I don't think that's going to be much use to me. Um, like whenever, like every other time you use a tool, whether it's in the kitchen and you're using a knife or whatever, you want to point it away from yourself. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to have my hand here because if this thing slips, chances are I'm going to be crying or needing stitches. So just a little friendly reminder, keep your your other limb out of the out of the line of out of harm's way. Y you know, <laughs> I've forgotten a lot of things in my life. Uh, boy, some pliers would be good. Um, but one of the, th you know, sometimes the, the, the image that we conjure up when we hear something gruesome, 
you know, whether it was really like that or not, who knows. But it, it kind of sticks with me. So I remember years ago, and I'm, this woman has probably been deceased now for, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years. But I remember hearing about her having to go to the hospital because she was using a knife to um, separate frozen, I don't know if, I thought it had to do something with fish, but maybe it was frozen patties, I don't know. But of course, the knife slipped and she uh, ended up doing some pretty serious damage to her hand because, you know, we all know hands are, hands are pretty important. Um, there are a lot of bones, tendons, ligaments, all kinds of structure, um, you know, and, and working parts. So, okay, well, how am I going to do this without getting my fingers in the way? This is actually coming out easier than I thought. Now, probably this is not the greatest canvas in the world. Um, you know, it's... I think, obviously, it's not the cheapest either. I could have cut my hand open there or made a hole in the canvas. So that's another thing you want to guard against. What you probably want to avoid, if you can afford to buy better, are those canvases that are stapled on the side. Now, they have a place, but typically those would be mounted you know, the big, the big brilliant masterpiece would be mounted in a frame. So, but if you don't intend to frame it, then you at least want to have a wrapped canvas so that the staples are at the back of it. So that if you're looking at the, the piece hanging on your wall, you're not seeing staples. Um, sometimes you'll also see people, if they have had to use that kind of, uh, oh, and I guess the other thing I want to guard against here is damaging the canvas as well. This screwdriver is kind of old and the corners are not quite round, I mean, not very uh, square anymore. They've kind of been rounded. That could have been bad. Um, oh, I was starting to say that another way, if you do end up having to use a canvas, <coughs> excuse me, that has staples on the side of it, another uh, option would be to cover that in some way. And sometimes you'll see those kinds of pieces, especially at secondhand stores. Maybe I'll move on before. Now the other thing I couldn't, why, why is this getting harder and harder? Am I getting weak and puny? Another thing that would work, but I didn't think of bringing a hammer, is, you know, sometimes you just need to, to get a little corner. <clears throat> you need, just need to wedge under a little corner and then you're, and you can work it the rest of the way. I might need my toy screwdriver just to do some lifting here. That's a stubborn one. Uh, what else can I use? Any of this? I don't really want to break anything. Hmm. Tweezers, no. <clears throat> Those, this little spatula thing. I doubt that that has the oomph to. <sighs> okay, there, it's giving way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forecasted rain did not fall. 
This air quality continues to be lousy. My voice continues to be hoarse. Okay, three more to go. So, now you can see that, <clears throat> excuse me, when I painted this, I obviously painted around the corners, around the edges, I mean. But if my intention, <clears throat> if my intention is to repurpose this as a journal cover, I either need to make it um, smaller. Well, we're, we'll fold it soon and see what kind of what kind of size we're talking about here. Or I need to, you know, paint a little further. And I don't know if that would have been hmm, hard to know what kind of paint that is. Some of this is, hmm. I don't know if some of these marks here are pens or if that's uh, some of the paint that's uh, in a in a in a bottom um, in a first or second layer. Okay, triumph. Okay, let's get. Oh, I'll need my ruler. <clears throat> get rid of these staples. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh, see, and the corners have been mitered. And because this thread is lying down and not, you know, lifting in any way, I would say that there's a coat of... Um, matte medium that was used on top. Okay. So, let's see what happens if we fold this. Well, let's maybe turn under these edges. That could almost be a tall skinny. I'm going to tuck all these things in so we have a better, better idea. So that essentially is where the the edge of the framed can or the mounted canvas was. So nice thing about canvas is that it molds nicely around you know whatever a spine a person would have. So assuming that, and I'm not going to make any sharp folds for sure. But let's say that was um, I have something here that I can kind of this is probably those are just some signature pages or some papers that I was trying to fold and I have them clipped so that they would become trained. <clears throat> So that's just to give it a little bit of something inside there. Okay, so um, half inch spine, four and a half, four and five eighths by what did I say? Nine and three quarters. Cool. I like it. 
I like it, I like it. Well, my lovelies, I think that that is going to be the plan. And of course, because I know a few more things now than I did in 2019, thank you, Lord, I, um, you know, may have other things that I want to, to add to this, but this is going to be far more <clears throat> uh, visible, useful, mm, yeah, visible and useful to me than a canvas that is, you know, just propped against something in my basement studio. I'm going to stop there. This really is a short video compared to <laughs> yesterday's uh, blockbuster. Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me. And I know that I've done another um, similar video in this 100-day project. That was a rolled-up canvas that I bought at a thrift store for 50 cents. This one was something that, well, I created on my own um, and just decided to, you know, to un unmount. And uh, this has a collage cover versus that, that other one, which was those trees. And I'm just, I think it's really important that if you have some, some artwork that you've done, like... I don't know if they're still happening or not, but remember when uh, those paint parties were a thing, and people would get together, and then you'd you'd be you'd see a group of, well, I think always women, coming out of um, wherever, a community center or a, a bar. Um, everybody has their canvas under their arm. They all have the same <laughs> the same painting those spruce trees or that starry, that starry night sky. Um, people took a lot of pride in getting, you know, a, an acrylic painting done in the course of a, you know, few hours. So, you know, maybe it's not something that you want to have hang on your wall. Maybe you don't have the room to hang it. I see so many of those end up at thrift stores um, this is another possible use, and I think it would have real significance for the person who painted it. So maybe think about doing that instead of, you know, donating it. Keep it in the family. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and we shall see you again tomorrow. Bye.